All right, I'm going to show you some Kochi. Uh, <laughs> right side versus right side? Okay, Kochi. The key to Kochi, right, you can do two kinds of Kochi. You can do sort of a timing-based Kochi where you're attacking sort of like this. Uh, I always like to equate it to kicking a soccer ball to my friend over there. My friend James is sitting over there somewhere. Hey, James, what's going on? I'm going to kick a soccer ball to you. Okay, I'm going to open up my hips. Because too many times I see people do Kochi like this, and it's just not strong enough, this movement. Okay? So, one, I take a cheap step forward, there's my Kochi timing, okay? One, if I don't take a cheap step forward, too far and too, too late. One, Kochi, okay? As the foot is coming down, I'm gonna time it, okay? Of course, you could do more of a power-oriented Kochi where you wrap the person really close uh, off an Ippon Senagi, but this one's a little bit different. One, two, this is the timing here, okay? As the heel's coming down, I take the coach out, and then I bring my elbow down into this midsection, and I go right into this pass position, into Kazuri Kesson Right? Let's look at hand position. Once I'm in this position, I wanna guide him forward, okay? So this hand is pulling to make him think I'm gonna go for a turn throw. Okay, and when I do that, he's gonna to wanna to pop the brakes. Nope, I am not going in this direction. Okay, don't let me throw you this way. Yeah. Okay, so this is the sort of the situation I'm looking to force, okay? It's gonna be sort of a forced error. One, two, I bring my elbow in, and I keep my palm, and there's a lot of tension here. Okay, I bring my hand right by the chin. If you can't see, so I'm gonna go at this angle. One, two, Okay, so once I reap this leg, whoops, I get to punch the chin and take him down uh, pretty strong at that diagonal, okay? And then I go right into the pass, into Nirvana, all right? The key here is hand on the chin, backhand, all right? And I'm pushing with my legs mm, at the weak angle as I'm kicking the foot upward. Okay, I don't want to kick down because the way his foot is, friction is going to prevent me from taking the foot out from underneath it. Okay? I'm going to hit it right as the foot's coming forward. One, two, coaching. Okay, it's going to be my timing-based coaching. Okay? Of course, most techniques are timing-based, but I could sort of force this type of makikomi kochi off an Ippon Senagi as well. Right? So there's two different kinds. This one, because of the position of your body, you really, really want to focus on timing that foot. Okay? And the beauty of this is, if you miss, you could go right into something else. One, two, Koji, Oshu, Oji. Right after that, attacking the other leg at another angle.